Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to bring you is a York City versus Bradford City match vlog now if you do go on to enjoy today's video a like as always will be massively appreciated if you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video that'd be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 6,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on get your thoughts on today's game as well down in the comment section down below today is obviously our third pre-season game we're taking on york our second away game i actually didn't think that we would be dealing with york city after what happened last season i think it was with clayton donaldson ryan spikes had some pretty stern words to say about york city so when this fixture actually got announced i was a little bit surprised as i'm sure a lot of bradford and york city fans were but we're traveling over to york once again today, I think we went there four or five years ago maybe, I think we actually lost 1-0 in like the last minute, it was something like that in pre-season, we're going back today, at the time of recording though I don't actually have my tickets, I ordered them on the 6th of July, today's the 16th, they've still not arrived, they haven't been posted so it took me ages to finally get into contact with someone from York and I've got to go there a little bit earlier to get the, my tickets printed out from their actual ticket office which is a little bit annoying when you've paid for postage and all that sort of stuff but it is what it is hopefully we get to see some of the new boys today but I highly doubt it will be Oliver or Halliday play hopefully we get to see players like Odessuna and players like that who we've just simply not seen yet but make sure you drop a like on today's video subscribe if you're new as well it's a new ground for me I've not actually been to York's new ground I went to their old ground but I haven't been to their new one yet so I shall see you all at their new stadium <laughs> And down they go, and they go, and they go, and 
Andy Andy Cook. He raised the ball, he scores the goal. Andy Andy Cook. <laughs> My plot is the definition of a Rolls Royce. <laughs> in the back.
to hit one again. is a regista. Not bad from Charlie Wood. <laughs> Go on, Jan. another very good run out for us in pre-season I know York aren't obviously the best team not obviously the highest level that we'll play against in pre-season but it was a very good workout for us I thought we played very well especially in that first half I thought we were very very good obviously scoring four goals away from home lots of positives to take really poor from our point of view not to keep a clean sheet I think the goal we conceded was a bit sloppy I don't really know who's at fault but we seem to be playing sometimes square pegs in round holes I know that obviously we've got a few players out with injuries but Mike Hughes said he expects them all to be back for the first game of the season against Don Cow Doncaster, sorry, which is very good. Obviously, Richie Smallwood today was absolutely fantastic. Every time he steps on the pitch, he just looks a class above. Thought Lee Angle had a very good game as well. Andy Cook getting better and better by the game. Keen Scales, I thought was really impressive. Matty Platt, once again, absolute Rolls Royce. Brad Halliday as well at right back. Obviously, that it was his first game. I thought he was very good. Harry Lewis didn't really have all too much to do. Obviously, he did concede that goal, but apart from that, I thought on the whole, he played all right. I don't think anyone really had a bad game today into the second half. I thought Songo played midfield for half an hour when he was captain in the last half an hour I thought he did alright in that role I thought Keen Harriet and Jake Young looked lively up front Romney Critchlow looked very good and composed on the ball at the back there were lots of positives to take from today's game we've got to take them into Tuesday which we'll hopefully see the Daniel of a feature it is Sunderland at home I will be there so make sure you tune in for that but that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video if you have enjoyed a like as always will be massively appreciated if you're going to try and hit 100 likes as I said at the start of today's video that would be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out the channel get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below what were your thoughts on today's win have a great rest of your day thank you very much for watching and i shall see you all very soon for another video peace